Hello everyone, this is me Sadhya here and I'm back with the uh, bonus love reads and uh, this reading is going to be for the sign of Capricorn. Topic of the reading is going to be uh, will they call or text? Whoever it is that you're dealing with, you really want to know if this person is going to call you or text you up, then this reading is, this reading is definitely going to help you know the answer to that. Will they call you up? Will they text you up? Yes or no? Um, it can be about anybody that you have that you have on your mind or uh, that you're dealing with. So uh, yeah, we will be taking oracle cards in this reading, but uh, no charms or uh, message cards will be added. So yeah, uh, before I dive into the read, let me remind you it's a general reading. It's an it's not resonate with everyone out there. So always pick the science messages which are resonating and leave the rest. For personal reads, you can always reach out to me on my email ID. In the description box, you can also follow me on Instagram where I do upload daily readings. So Capricorns, let's find out whoever it is that you have on your mind. Will they call or text you up? Yes or no? Knight of Cups, Page of Cups, Page of Swords, King of Pentacles, Four of Pentacles, Seven of Swords, Knight of Wands, underneath the deck, we do have the Fool. I feel like, you know, whoever it is that you're asking about, whoever it is that you're dealing with, whoever it is that you would love to receive a message or a call from, um, this person, uh, this person seems like, um, this person seems to be like, uh, basically, they are uh, not going to reveal their true intention for you. It seems like, you know, whoever it is that you are uh, asking this, uh, you know, a question about, this person is, um, they do have some uh, hidden motives around this, uh, you know, uh, around the message that they're going to send, around the communication that, you, that, that they're going to have. Um, there are things that you are unaware of. There are things that uh, they are not going to share with you. Um, they are going to be... Um, it doesn't have to be something fishy though, but maybe, maybe it is, maybe it's not. Because I feel like you know, they, they will not be basically revealing their innermost desires with you or to you. Um, whatever they are coming back for, they will be messaging you, they will be talking to you, they will be communicating with you. To be very honest, with the page of souls here, it seems like you know this person has been keeping tabs on you already. Uh, they will be coming forward, they will be messaging you, but at the same time, there is definitely something fishy. Maybe they have love for you, but they are going to act as if they are just coming back to have some fun with you, uh, you know, to, to reconcile with you, to have fun times, to hang out, to be friends with benefits or something like that. Deep down, this person has a serious intention, maybe to, to have it uh, with you to the next level. Uh, it can be exactly reversed for some of you as well. Maybe they really don't want to be in a committed relationship and then um, they are going to act as if they have love and they want things to be smooth and uh, beautiful with you. So it's gonna be different for different people, but I feel like, you know, definitely there is this, uh, there is this uh, you know, um, issue, which, which is uh, that they will not be revealing their true self to you. So when, whatever happens, like you know, whenever this person reaches out to you, make sure you, you know what, what to expect. Because I feel like, you know, they, uh, I would suggest you to do one thing, whenever they message, whenever they call, um, don't have high expectations don't get overwhelmed oh my god the message oh my god they called oh my god now everything is going to get better now everything is going to move forward to the next level don't have high expectations from this person because they're, they are definitely not being truthful to you about their true intentions um maybe they are going to reach out to you maybe they are going to call you up but maybe they have especially if you have some other relationship with this person as well like maybe you are a colleague maybe you are a business partner maybe you are somebody who they have to call up Maybe they are going to be in need of you in one way or the other. Maybe they need their, they need your help in one way or the other. Maybe they will be, they will be reaching out to you for that. But yes, I feel like you know the the ultimate uh, intention is not going to be revealed to you. So they will be like maybe maybe if they have been ignoring you for quite some time and now now they need you in one way or the other. Maybe they will act as if they are being kind and nice to you. But it is going to be momentarily because they need something from you. I feel like you know there is some hidden uh, motive behind uh, them reaching out to you. It's not going to be what you are going to be thinking of it to be. So try and understand that you know this person is not being you know uh, 
truthful to you to you i feel like you know you will have to basically figure things out for yourself it's going to be different for different people for some of you like i said maybe it's a it's their true love that they have that they're going to hide for others of you in fact for majority of you i feel like you know this person is going to be reaching out to you because they need you in one way or the other they will need your help they will need your guidance they will need your support maybe they will need some financial help as well but yes i feel like you know they will be reaching out to you with hidden motive uh deep down uh they they um it's uh let's take one more card here three of pentacles maybe they need the uh, they, they need your help or support um maybe there are mutual friends of theirs um or maybe you have a friend who they need uh a support to get to um through you maybe that could be the reason for some of you um uh, we do have the moon again ten of pentacles uh, hold on i feel like you know this person is not coming in with the clear intention so again um since it's going to be happening just go slow around it don't have high expectations don't uh uh you know don't um over excite yourself around it so let's see what else do we have so we do have these two cards ego see from a higher perspective hold on see from a higher perspective it's going to be very important for you to just keep your mind open around you know whatever that is happening try not to be so over caught uh into the idea maybe they want to reconcile maybe they're on this and that just be open like you know don't have high expectations don't expect anything at all i would say try to look at it from the broader perspective uh, perspective uh as in like you know they might be coming in for something uh casual they might be coming in for just being friends uh just keep the option open there don't have high expectations that maybe they are going to come into you or they are going to give you what you have been waiting for high priestess harness mystic power i feel like you know you will be able to understand why this person is back in your life what is it that they want if and only if you are going to align yourself with the divine power that you have within uh make sure you uh you see it from an open perspective don't have uh you know don't uh, don't from now onwards don't have any uh, you know kind of uh, image made of this person just let this person come and see what they have to offer what they have to talk about what they have to communicate about but yes i feel like you know this person is definitely going to be reaching out to you uh they will be calling you up they will be um texting you up as well but yes um just go slow around it let's see more cards here completion i feel like you know for majority of you you are going to get some sort of a clarity around uh, the situation as well maybe for some of you it's going to happen for a closure that you maybe need right now um and so you could move on in your life maybe this person is going to come back to apologize you to uh, or to apologize to you so again just keep yourself open to the idea that the communication will be coming in but yes maybe it's not, it's not going to be what you want out of it it can be something beautiful it can be something less than that as well so let's see one last card recovery for um i don't know i feel like you know this this person um seems like you know this person would be coming in to to um to apologize for something for majority of you i feel like you know this person is not coming to basically uh or communicating to basically to reconcile with you this person would have something else to uh maybe they have their um regrets maybe they have uh, they want to have a kind of a uh, uh they want to end karmic cycle with you uh which uh, which they might have a uh, it it can be anything but it it's definitely for majority of you i feel like you know it's, this is not going to be a reconciliation kind of energy it can be uh, anything but very you know maybe hardly one or two people uh, would be uh, having a person coming back to um uh, to reconcile so yeah that's for me i hope it was a felt and wish you all the best if you are willing to purchase any of the services that are offered check the description box for that so yeah till i do the next reading for you guys take care bye